Good evening Rowan. It's the evening of the 23rd of September 2015 and it's about 10 o'clock in the evening and I've finished all my raping and pillaging for the day and so I'm now back in my flat making another video for you. Well I hope you like my camel. <laughs> this camel represents you actually. <laughs> Because it's to make you think, <laughs> it's to make you think of the time when Jesus says in the gospel um, about blind guides straining out gnats and swallowing camels. <laughs> so there you are, that's a camel uh, to remind you of that passage. Well this video um, follows on. Uh, from the video I did last night uh, where I was telling you about those two amazing commandments that I discovered when I was just browsing through my Bible as you do um, anyway I thought you might have another objection to it I mean I don't know whether you can redefine words in Hebrew or not uh, but I thought you might say oh well that's the Old Testament and we don't bother with that anymore well, I know you wouldn't say Old Testament because you're politically correct, and you? You'd say the Jewish scriptures uh, because the fact that you're being puppeteered by the same people who put Hitler in power is totally irrelevant as long as you say the Jewish scriptures <laughs> and not the Old Testament. Even if you mean ancient by old rather than irrelevant, if you see what I mean. Anyway... Um, I thought you might say that, even though that's a heresy called antinomianism, but you'll know that being a genius, won't you, anyway? So I thought, well, I'll just have a quick browse through the New Testament. <laughs> and see if it says anything similar. would have it. I mean, it is mentioned quite a lot, adultery, and uh, never in a positive sense, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so, anyway, so I had to select um, an occasion when it's mentioned, actually, because it's mentioned quite often, and not in a positive sense, as I've mentioned. So, the passage I've chosen is from Mark, uh, chapter 10, and... Um, it's about um, a rich young man who comes up to Jesus and asks uh, what he should do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus says, this is Mark chapter 10, verse 19, You know the commandments, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. That's another good one for you, incidentally. <laughs> You shall not defraud, honour your father and mother. So anyway, uh, so Jesus said um, not to commit adultery as well. That's not the only place he said not to commit adultery. Incidentally, I've cherry-picked that one. Uh, but I know, you see, that you've got the authority uh, to redefine words in English. And as I said, I don't know whether you've got the authority to redefine Hebrew words as well. Well, the thing is, I mean, as you'll know, being a genius, that the New Testament wasn't written in English or Hebrew originally, but it was written in Greek. <laughs> so, like Hebrew, I'm not sure whether you've got the authority uh, to redefine words in Greek. Um, so I don't want you to get confused about word definitions and everything. So in order to help you, thinking that perhaps, just maybe, you may not have the authority to redefine words in Greek, especially New Testament Greek, which is a dead language and doesn't evolve. <laughs> I thought I'd get my great New Testament out. <laughs> So you can verify that this passage is actually there and it actually does say it in Greek. <laughs> because I know you like undermining everything I say and saying everything's different to the way I perceive it and say it and all that kind of thing. 
just because she don't want anyone to believe me. <laughs> when I tell them what a pervert you and your cronies are. <laughs> so, um, I've actually got the evidence here in Greek, so I'm going to show it to you now. This is quite small text, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You'll be able to read this fluently, won't you? It'll be one of the 300 languages that you learn to speak overnight. <laughs> anyway, that's not focusing very well. There we are. You'll have to do your best with that. Use a magnifying glass or something. Anyway, yes, well, I should have pointed out while I was um, pointing um, my camera at the, at the Greek uh, New Testament uh, that uh, there's a word here, me, <laughs> which uh, means the same as lo in Hebrew. Well, I explained that yesterday, didn't I? But luckily, I know you won't believe me about that either. But I've got my Greek lexicon here, so you can have a look at that, can't you? Well, let me read it to you first, because the text is quite small. So here we have it. Me, a negative particle. <laughs> Not. <laughs> anyway, it goes on to explain some other things, but basically you get the gist, don't you? <laughs> so uh, there you are. Here it is in this... Um, bottom part here. You could have had a look in my Greek dictionary but the writing's even smaller in there so there you are. There it is in the lexicon. I suppose you'll have some sarcastic remark to make about that in your next um, video won't you? <laughs> you know I'm cut to the quick. <laughs> anyway I think that's it for my video today. Oh, do you want to look at the English as well? Well, you looked at that yesterday. Well, I know what I was going to show you as well. The thing from the front of my Greek New Testament. So there it is. Can you read that? So you can see I've had that a long time as well. There's a lot of things been going on for a long time. And you'll think you're going to manipulate me. A maximum <laughs> of three months before it ends. <laughs> what a desperate man you are, aren't you? Anyway, I'm going to upload this video in the morning. And I thought of another Sisters of Mercy song that you might like. You obviously didn't like something fast. <laughs> you could take that up as your theme tune. I think that should be your anthem. <laughs> so, um, yes, well, I think that's it for tonight. Oh, I did make a mistake on my video yesterday saying you were living it up in Madrid when you're actually living it up in Avila. Well, I don't know if you're still there now, because you probably have to fly home uh, so you can go and talk crap somewhere else. Um, anyway, I've asked my friend to come and perform a citizen's arrest on you um, on Saturday when you're in Brecon. Um, I can't remember the particular section of the Terrorism Act 2006 now. But basically, it's a criminal offence if you know in advance of a terrorist attack occurring and um, you don't tell anybody about it. Well, you did know about the London bombings happening in advance, didn't you? Because uh, that's how you could arrange to be outside the Muslim establishment in West Yorkshire to basically program people to believe it was Muslims who did it before there'd been any investigation into it or anyone even knew what happened. Uh, so you had prior knowledge of that, and I expect the TV company had prior knowledge of that as well, so they could turn up in battle. <laughs> Which is just about like turning up in Timbuktu from here, to be honest. Um, 
So there you are, you should be in jail for that as well as many of your other crimes. <laughs> so have a nice day on um, Saturday, won't you? <laughs> And I told him to get it videoed as well, so we can put that on YouTube. <laughs> but don't worry, because if he doesn't make it, and you never know whether he will or not, remember that. <laughs> be alert. <laughs> you can be sure that I'll be turning up somewhere to perform a citizen's arrest on you. And um, to tell everybody what a scumbag you are. I mean, all those people who haven't worked it out yet. Oh yeah, there was another thing as well I meant to mention. Just because I don't fancy you doesn't make me a lesbian, you know. I know it's really hard for you to believe. <laughs> but even overlooking the fact that you're already married... <laughs> You're so hideous, I'd rather die. <laughs> and to be honest, if you were representative of the male of the species, I've no doubt that I would be a lesbian. In fact, I don't think I can think of any woman who wouldn't. <laughs> so you've gone to extreme lengths, haven't you, just cos you were upset that you couldn't get your leg over. It's the oldest line in the book, you know. Oh, she doesn't fancy me. She must be a lesbian. <laughs> you are such... I just... I can't even think of a word to describe you. I've never met anyone so dumb. You are the dumbest man I've ever met. You really are. And you make it worse because you think you're really clever. And you don't know that other people think you're a fool. You're really dumb.